At this moment, we would like to express our deepest sympathy uh, to Mr. Chaminda Lakshan uh, and the family of Mr. Chaminda Lakshan, who was shot yesterday uh, in an extremely ugly, unprovoked incident. At this moment, uh, all over the country, there are protests that are taking place in different locations with people uh, protesting for, uh, in, in the light of the many challenges that they are facing in their daily life. These are, these are normal, ordinary people of this country who would, norm, under normal circumstances, never resort to protests. However, they've been compelled to do so because their daily lives have become a misery. Their daily lives have become absolute uh, tragedies at this moment. They are, uh, they are unable to find cooking gas. They are unable to get on with their uh, daily, uh, their, their livelihoods because of lack of fuel. Uh, the the, f uh, the fisher fisher folk are in complete disarray. Uh, uh, bus drivers, trishaw drivers, they, people who have relied on uh, fuel for their livelihoods have uh, no recourse at this moment. The the price increase that took place two nights ago, the night before, was not a small one. It was not five rupees or ten rupees. It was seventy five rupees at least. It was a, it, this comes as a huge shock to people on, who are already undergoing tremendous suffering. So we want to say that what this government did at this moment, we know is their tried and tested methods. The Rajapaksa family is known for this. We have not forgotten any of the incidents that have taken place earlier under the same family rule. When Gotabe Rajapaksa was secretary to the Ministry of Defense, we know how he behaved. This was the man who went in front of global, uh, a global audience and uh, was when questioned about the uh, death of uh, Lasanta Vikramatunga, uh, who said, who is Lasanta? That was the level of arrogance he had. This is the man who threatened to hang people in public in, in golf face. This is, the, this is the mentality of the man. This is a bloodthirsty family. This is a family that has blood on their hands. There are mothers. In, nor in the north and east who have been asking for some kind of answers for those whom they lost for years now. And this, uh, this government has not shown any regard for any of those requests. We know how they came to power. They came to power with a trail of blood. One of the first things that they did when they came into power was also to use the legal system to uh, uh, to, to pardon several people who have been involved in some of these cases. Now they are unable, they have not been able to show any concern, any sympathy, any level of empathy with the suffering of the people. But they are now resorting, we saw this happen in Mirihana and we saw this yesterday in Rabukana where they are turning to their tried and tested methods which they unfortunately have not realized as yet that the people have rejected them completely. So we would also like to uh, remind uh, 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 international agencies that are dealing with this government, this is the kind of government you are dealing with. This government has lost its mandate, has lost its legitimacy. It is no longer representing the people of this country. So if you are dealing with them, remember that when you are dealing with them. Remember on whose side you need to stand as well because it is extremely important that at this moment that we stand together as the people of Sri Lanka, citizens of this country, to get rid of this family that has ruined, uh, uh, ruined the country and ruined the lives of these people. So we want to uh, once again tell the government, please conduct an in impartial, independent investigation. Do not try to come up with your usual uh, conspiracies and lies to cover up what you have uh, been doing. Uh, these protesters have been uh, peaceful. Their anger, their rage is completely understandable. This is their lives that they are fighting for and you have no right to use violence against them. So uh, th this government has to heed the call of the people. They have no longer any right to remain in power even for another hour. So please, uh, at least now, at least at this point, even after the death 
of, of yet another civilian in this country. You know what kind of history we have had and it's already one civilian too many. Uh, we ask the government to please stop immediately and, and give up this, uh, this uh, power hungry game that you, you are playing with, at, with, at which, uh, for which uh, the, the citizens of this country have had to pay with their lives. Thank you.